your Sage BusinessWorks accounting software has undergone an extraordinary facelift over the past year, resulting in a product that is easier to use than ever before. When you launch the program, the login window looks a little bit different. It still acts the same. You enter in your user ID and your password, and then you click OK to log in. There are many pieces of valuable information on the welcome page. For example, a link to the Sage BusinessWorks news page, a link to the electronic manuals, and a link to the knowledge base. Under the file menu, most of the options are the same. This is where you go to make a backup, to restore. There's also a new option for office integration. This is just where if you have custom office, your targeted mail merge and custom worksheets tasks will be. There's a new option for send email. By clicking on this link, it will open up a new email for your default mail account. On the left-hand side of your screen, you have options for modules, shortcuts, and startups. If you don't wish to have these options viewable, you can just click on the X to close those options out. To bring those back, you can just go to View and click on the item to bring it back. You can also get to just the button bar with one click. You can go up to the View menu and click on Viewer. If you would like to bring the viewer back, go up to the View menu and click on Viewer again. At the bottom of the screen is the status bar, where you see the user currently logged in, the company they're logged into, and the posting date. If you do not see that available, you go up to View, and you can select Status Bar. If I uncheck it, that item goes away. If I check it, it brings it back. Now you can click down here on the user that's logged in and change the user that you're currently logged in as. You can also change the company that you're logged into and you can change the posting date. You can select a module from the left hand side and it will change all of the buttons to just those tasks for that module. To get back to where all the modules are listed as buttons, you can just click on Welcome. Once you select your module, you have different options available to you. You have the Common Tasks tab, which are common tasks for that module, you have the All Tasks tab, which are all of the tasks available for that module, and you have the Checklists tab. The checklists are no longer their own menu at the top of your BusinessWorks launcher. They are within the modules. To add an item to the shortcuts or startups, just select that item, select the Shortcuts menu at the bottom, and select either Add to Shortcuts or Add to Startups. Once you have items in the shortcuts or startups lists, you can right click on them to either delete them, rename them, or move them up or down within the list. Shortcuts would be tasks that you perform on a regular basis. Instead of having to go through the menu options to get to them, you can click on them from your shortcuts menu. Startups are tasks that will launch when you launch the program. The utilities menu for your business works has not changed. All of the tasks that were there previously are still there, as well as the Help menu. That menu has not changed either. Although BusinessWorks has a fresh new look, the workflow has not changed. You should be confident that you can upgrade to the new BusinessWorks on a Friday afternoon and come into work on that Monday morning and process tasks the same way you did before the upgrade. Sage BusinessWorks 2010 is coming soon. Be sure to watch the Sage BusinessWorks website for updates.